Well, we've called this exhibition a holiday of a lifetime because it's all about how travel broadens the mind and especially if you go off travelling at a young age, you can pick up interests that influence the rest of your life. And in this case, the central figure in this exhibition is Sir Watkin Williams Wynne, who was a massive landowner in North Wales. He owned Wynstay House just outside Brabant. And aged 18, he headed off on the Grand Tour and for nine months was exploring France and Italy, seeing all the great art, all the great architecture, and, on, and just learning about the world, learning about, about taste, learning about history, learning about fashion. And he also had a rather large income. And when he came back, he became probably Wales's greatest ever patron of the arts. We've got some classic paintings from two of the greatest Welsh artists of the 18th century, Richard Wilson and Thomas Jones. Wilson was um, supported actively by Sir Watkin and Thomas Jones was a pupil of um, Richard Wilson. We've also got Silver by Robert Adam, who was the sort of probably the most expensive and the most popular architect in the 18th century. He was a Scottish chap and he designed everything and including the silver that you can see behind us. And we've also got um, Sir Watkins' coat, and he bought the velvet for that while on tour, and he probably had it made up by his London tailor for his 21st birthday, which was a massive affair at Wednesday. 1,500 guests, cooks brought up by the coach load from London. The food was actually delivered by ship to Chester and then brought across to Ruaban for the party to begin. I think it's a, it's a once in a, probably a century chance to see these kind of works up here in North Wales. They've all got a connection to North Wales, but normally you have to go down to Cardiff to see them. And for these next three months, you can come into Wrexham and see them here where they belong.